Well, it was a hard game for a long time. Have to make sure you match them physically, but in the end, you got the right result. Yeah, we, we knew we knew the the, the fighting for their lives. We watched like we always do. We always prepare and watch the games and the teams we were going to be playing, and we knew it'd be like that. But I thought the way uh, the group, even the lads who come on, they went about it. And they kept playing, they kept playing. We created chances first half. There's a cookies one. It's not offside. You know, because we got the analyst in the stand. And all the decisions are not offside, but the guys kept going. You can get frustrated. The teams come in, they'll do that. But uh, the focus and determination, the attitude to go and do that, and then get the goal when we needed it, settled everyone down was was, was excellent. We were really pleased. Yeah, showed great patience, and because you say James Noor with that first one did yeah. really well, good finish, and he's into all the figures of the season now as well. Yeah, I think uh, Norris would say himself he, he could be on twenty goals, but. Credit to him because he's gone through. He's missed a one v one, and some of the people might have gone under, and he's not. He's gone and took his chance, and it's the first goal and it kicks us on. Because after that, I think they it just broke their heart a little bit. Then, so uh, credit to him because that, that's the life of the striker. A lot of battling performances up top, as you say, and then Connor Jennings. Then he's in great scoring form at the moment. Yeah, he's in, he's in one of them uh, one of them patches at the moment where his finishing's been spot on, but the the work rate that he gets through and the positions he takes up and the teams that are trying to stop him in certain areas. He's the highest in stats, sprinting, running, so that doesn't surprise you. I'm just delighted that he's, or we're all delighted that he's getting those goals now because he's, the way he goes about his work and the way he behaves is, uh, is excellent. A lot of prompting to midfield. I think Ollie Norburn was involved in, in both those goals that yeah. Connor scored. Yeah, well, they've got him and uh, Oli Banks, and then they're good, they're good footballers, and they'll take the ball. They'll take the ball under pressure when there's people around them, which is an ability in itself. They've got two other two midfield players there, just as uh, waiting, chomping a bit to get at them as well. So I think that competition around the squad is pushing that group as well, and I think they need that uh, at the moment. But no, they're, they're two very good footballers, and what we like about them is they'll, they'll take the ball in tight areas, and they'll, they'll ask the question of the, the forwards, and they'll try and find them. Saw that with the fourth goal, didn't he? Because Jay Harris had come on. It was his harrowing, really, that got the ball for Andy Cook to get the fourth. Yeah, again, uh, Jay sometimes doesn't get credit for how much of a good footballer he is. Uh, you the other side of the game, that's a no-brainer for him, but he is a good footballer as well. And he's, again, these midfield players in there, they were the good midfield players and the fight for each other uh, for the places as well. And from your perspective as well, of course, you know when it was tight there, you know, keep it tight to the back, keep that clean sheet and make the most of the chances when they do come as well. So also tight defensively today. Yes, I thought uh, Big Macca and Sutty were outstanding, especially the size of them. Yeah, the big side, uh, big side physically, throwing, set plays, and that's part of the game that we, we said to them at half time, you need to keep doing that side of it because we were, we were doing well on that, picking knockdowns up. That allows you then to go and play because you can't stop them doing that. They're going to do it, and that's, that's the way they play. There's nothing against that. You've got to be good at that. You talk, yeah, when you talked about the movement, you talked about the first time passing, etc., that's yeah. all about confidence. I mean, how do you notice that yourself as a coach, perhaps? Yeah, it is, but again, it comes from, it, obviously you do your work on your training, on the training pitch, but it comes from uh, your performances and it comes from winning games. So that will never change at any level as long as I have whatever I've seen. And you take, you have a bit more confidence, you take the ball in tighter areas, your feet are more sure, your passes are more sure, and you, you, t you try things more as well. And you can see that, you see the confidence coming into them, you can see the fans getting behind that, which then kicks it on again another level. And uh, just got to keep on that now. It's just got to be relentless in what we're doing. You want Brendan Park to be a fortress, but I mean, six home league wins in a row, that doesn't yeah. happen too often, does it? No, but it's it's an expectation here that the fans have and the, the, the club has, and the, the players know that, and the players are told that, and they, I think they're used to getting the demands on them. We just spoke about there. We've just got to keep driving the standards now. That's that's our job now as a management, uh, management team to keep doing that and keep on them. Matt alongside me, I think we've said it's almost 10 years since the last time you won six in a row at Brenton Park. So that sort of gives a measure of how well you're playing at the moment. Yeah, that, that's great, that's good. But again, we, we just want to keep make sure we, we're on a little bit of a roll now. And we need to, we had a bit of stuck stu start at the start of the season. Chances weren't getting taken, but getting created. Now they're getting taken, now the confidence is growing, the fans are growing. And people can see that we're on the march a little bit. But it's just, it's just the beginning of it. We've got to make sure now, and I'll keep banging on about it, the standards stay that high, and then we, we're going out and that again. Get yeah, with Macclesfield to the top, he's still eight, but you know, there's yeah. a chasing pack now, and you're, you're right in amongst that. You've done the difficult part in getting there, now you've got to maintain it. Yeah, fine, there's a, there's a lot of games to go. You know, you've got to be in that mix for me, I've been involved in promotions and that before. You've got to be in there when there's 10 games to go, and that's when it starts 
that he comes on then and the people who've been in that situation before, we've got players that have been there. And it's just about driving us into them last 10 games now, making sure we're in that pack and hunting the people down. And now onto the next one, it's Farrell. You saw them here you know, yeah. on Boxing Day. I mean, they look quite decent going forward, so they're going to give you another test on Monday? Yeah, that, that'd, be a, that'd be a tough game. It was a tough game here. They've got some decent players. They've got a good goal scorer. So if we come off the levels in mentality and the way we work, then you're being for the tough game again. So we've got to make sure that them levels are right. We won't be taking that lightly. We know there's a lot of fans going there from here. And uh, they're paying a lot of money to go. And that's, that's a, uh, a thing in itself that we make sure go there and we get three points. Is that where the experience on the pitch, the strength of character you've got there, that can help everybody to make sure that does happen? Yeah, but it comes from everybody in, involved in the club. Everyone who's, who deals with the players, who has an input with the players, is that's the that's their job to do that to make sure that everyone around the place that we stay on we stay on track, we stay settled, and we keep pushing. Just a word about the players coming back from injury. I mean, Lionel Cole started today. Yeah. Jake Kirby obviously got on the yeah. pitch as well. Important you have that strength in depth. Yeah, Cole has been out for a little bit. Come back in, I thought he did well. Again, excellent football. Deals with the ball. I made up for Jake Kirby because it's been it's been a long road for him for the poor lad. He's uh, He's had a lot of knockbacks with it, but the work he's put in, I'm delighted he can, we could get him on the pitch today. And Liam Bridal just has to sit out there at the moment. He's watching Eddie Clark. He, yeah. Maybe he didn't let to leave the game back in at the moment. Uh, young Eddie, just, he's just fearless, isn't he? He's just fearless. He's still learning the game, uh, but he's got an enthusiasm, and uh, sometimes he just makes you laugh with some of the stuff that he goes and does because he plays like he's just playing with his mates. But Rise is a, is a, is a good pro, a good professional, and we're going to need him. We're going to need him. You know, Young players go through ups and downs. And what a backup to have in rides where he's probably the best left back in the league, so that's good to have. And Dylan Mott Henry not involved through injury today because his loan spell due to to an end. Is he likely to go back to his club? Yes, he has got he's gone back to Barnsley, he's picked up a, a like a groin injury in Barnsley and letting anybody out uh, from their club at the moment. They're in the, in the middle of a takeover. So he's at least two two or three weeks uh, with a bit of an injury around his groin area. So uh, that'll just be something we just keep on going and keep looking at. Yeah, I mean, I think with his gap, do you think about bringing somebody in at the moment? Or are you happy with the players coming back from injury? I think, yeah, I think yeah, as anyone would say, you, you'll always look into can you improve the group? Can you improve the squad? We might need one or two, maybe. But it's something uh, we look at the people coming back and we think of the games we've got coming up and what we might need moving forward. But we're always, we're always on the lookout for players, always. Very well done today. Not just, just on Dylan, how important was it to show you could win without him? Because it's no coincidence that the form has improved since he arrived. Yeah, I think Dylan, Dylan come in. He's he's been he's been a credit to his club, uh, Barnsley, and uh, it was great for them to let us have him. But he's uh, there's a lot of work gone into him. There's a lot of but he's he's a good character and he's he's done really well, you know. And uh, I think it's been as good for him as he has been for us as well. He's he's learnt a lot. So uh, we're delighted with what he did and hopefully maybe along the line he can maybe come back. If he doesn't, we wish him well and we hope we paid a part in his, in his development. Is that something you will explore to do in a few weeks then? I, I think it's, it's one of those things you've got, you've got to look at again. Barnsley, he's Barnsley's player. I don't wanna, we don't want to speak about that. I know obviously there's a takeover going on and we've been told that there's no, nothing going to be happening there over the next few weeks. So that's something you just, we just got to monitor the situation as it goes really. Jerry McDonough, what's his situation at the moment? Again, Jerry's uh, his loan's up in the next couple of days, and again, that's something we'll just review along the line. Uh, we'll speak to obviously speak to Nottingham Forest again. They've let a bad their player. We've done, a, we've done a lot of work with him, and he's just not really had the opportunities probably that that he would want and would like. Uh, but to be fair to Cookie and, and Nors, they've been scoring. They've been making a good partnership. Sometimes it's hard for uh, for the young lad to get in, but uh, he's been great around the place as well. He's been a good pro. And just a bit more on Jake Kirby, what different options does he add to the squad now he is back? I think Jake, uh, it gives you an option because he can play, he can play anywhere at the top of the pitch, and you could even play him in a in a midfield and behind the front too. He gives you an option to change formation with him because you know when you put him in, you tell him to do something and he'll do it, and he'll do it his best of ability. That's the sort of character he is. Um, how close is Ben Tollett to a return now? Uh, ben Tollett had a scan the other day. Uh, the results coming back at the moment have been uh, good. So it's just a matter of now with Ben in, of building him up. But we don't want to rush him back. We don't want to rush him back. But he's, 
fingers crossed in uh, we won't put any time frame on it but his, his results are very good and the surgeon's happy for him now to go to his next stage start strengthening and hopefully then start getting some running into him and uh, he's, he's on the right way definitely well done today no worries thank you